Good morning. Here's my uh, homemade uh, kayak hauling, hauling trailer. Yep, I built this myself. My little Safari Zebra uh, kayak trailer. Used to be my stock trailer. I took it, I cut the top off. Put a bar across here. Got things to hook up my kayaks and all the good stuff. I put one on top. Cut a hole right there. Put the other boat in there. I was going to cut another hole on that side, but I said, my wife said, nah, you better not. One's good enough. We, can, we only take two kayaks and we want to take three. I can put another one there and I can still put one on the bottom. And uh, this box here was uh, the box that would go in back of my truck, but at the time I was like, yeah, that's not going to fit back there. So I mounted it onto the side here. I bought another truck, but it's over there. It's a 4x4. Four but uh, I don't want to put that on there. Then I got my Yukon kayak on the bottom. That one's mine. That one's hers. And right here on this side, we're going to put our bikes. So I was like, yeah, that'll work perfect. Put the bikes on one side. Put the kayaks on the other side. Ready to go. But if we're out there fishing, and eh, there's never a water fountain. So I got me this uh, PVC, put it together. And I fill that up with a couple of gallons of water. And we got our faucet here. Wash our hands. Wash our feet. And it's got a, a, a valve here. So what I do is hook up my little air compressor to it. My uh, tire inflator. It puts pressure in it. So I can hook up another hose and take a shower if I want to. I just carry those uh, water gallons and, uh, you know. Fill this up here, pressurize it, and then it'll be a nice and uh, summery when summer comes around. Or spring's coming up, and that's what we're getting ready for. We're going to go to the coast this weekend. But, yeah, it's cloudy and rainy. So I came out here to do this quick video. But, uh, yeah, this is my homemade uh, trailer. And it was for hauling my cattle and my uh, horses and my goats and all that and now I just got chicken so now it's my chicken hauler I just put a cattle panels on the top or if I'm going to go down to flea market sell some chicken but for right now it's going to haul my my kayaks I said well if you got a truck why not carry the kayaks in the truck because we don't always take the truck it's just me and my wife and that's a big truck and the trailer's not that big anymore and they cut a lot of the weight off of it that thing is heavy. That's like over 2,000 pound uh, trailer, solid steel. This thing is tough. <laughs> so I said, ooh, yeah. But uh, sometimes I want to carry it with that. My Kia Sorento, it's got a four cylinder in it. And uh, you can't carry the kayaks on top because there's no roof rack. It's like two thousand dollars to put a roof rack on the top. And uh, in my 10 speed, I've been riding my bike almost every day. Uh, Mondays is six miles, and the other days are three miles a day. And it's a pretty cool bike. Yep, got them big old tires on it. And she runs good. My wife goes here, so oh no, my light's on. Wonder that's been on all night. <laughs> yeah, turn that off. Let's see. Uh oh. Malfunction. It won't turn off. There it goes. Man, those things run for a long time. <laughs> anyway, now we can pull it with this. We use this, and uh, I'm going to go down to the coast. We can uh, always put the other racks that I built for this and put the kayaks up there. We just want to take the truck. But we got to go work down there, so we're going to take the Kia. It's a four-cylinder, waste less gas, and it's the best way to go. Yep. So, yep, I'm going to unhook that and hook it up. And yesterday, I put my hitch on it. I had to weld it on there. Got my little welder out and welded it on there. 
but uh, to hitch it up, I got to back up this boat here, which slides back real easy, and then uh, just lower that down. But uh, I put it on yesterday, so I still got to tighten the handle up and tighten the bolts on the tire. But I did a little welding job because it's a that's a real thick angle iron, and my word is angle iron, so it's not square. So when I tightened those bolts up, it kept turning. To fix that, I welded this side, that side, and the back side to the to the frame, and now it works perfect. Well, yep, we're getting ready to go down to the coast. Hopefully, the sun will come up, and I'll catch some big fish. Well, hopefully, because that winter really hurt everything. If nothing else, we'll just go out there kayaking. But uh, this is Ro from Ro's Tiny Trailers, and uh, this is my new build. And I'm still working on my tiny house. <laughs> yep. Wood got too expensive, so, yeah. Had to cut back. So, do what we can. Let's enjoy the rest of this year. Bye-bye, guys.